plain, minimalistic, and windowless. Hello, this is Ana Hernandez. Please come to my house. Welcome. Ana Hernandez and her family have been living in this concrete cube in Aldea de Yuso, west of Lisbon, for about a year now. The big surprise is how light and transparent the interior is. It's a house that is built, all the walls are in, in glass, and in this way, the sensation is that we have a house double that where it is. We have several pieces of of glass that you can open. So we can open this, this wall here and we go directly to the, to the garden. The house stands on a lot, just 350 square meters in size. To gain living space, it was designed with two stories and a third one underground. Privacy was given a high priority, which is why the outer walls have no windows. Everybody comes here and say, well, the house with no windows, and really very mysterious about it. But, but uh, in fact, uh, the architect proposed to do this wall are all around the first floor. And we were a little bit like, wow, man, we are not so sure. But at the end, you know, it's done like that because all the rooms upstairs are open to little patios instead of windows, small windows that wouldn't give us privacy. Hernandez shows us around the nearly 170 square meters of living space, hidden away inside the concrete cube. We have a secret here. Here's where you see the windows that seem not to exist. Downstairs, from downstairs, every room has, you know, this terrace. The patios are different sizes, but all of them are painted white to reflect the light into the house. The atrium-style patio is a traditional Spanish and Portuguese home design that found its way into this contemporary architecture. I guess it's a very uh, typical theme from the south, from the architecture in the south. You know, all these patios that gives you light but preserves you also a little bit from hot. So these patios is like... A, a way to, 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 to have an extra space and get fresh in the, in the summer or get a little bit warm from the sun in the, in the winter. The biggest patio is around 30 square meters. And again, you see all the light is reflecting in the white doors, white walls and, and uh, gives a lot of light. This minimalistic home is surrounded by the neighborhood's bungalow-style houses. The Hernandez family originally had it built with the intention of selling it. But then, in 2010, Portugal's debt crisis hit. We start building it in the worst mm -hmm. possible moment ever, you know. So, to finish it <clears throat> was not problematic because we have all the, the, the things already planned and everything, but of course was almost impossible to sell it at that point, you know. So the family moved in, and ever since, they've had to keep explaining to people passing by that it's a residence, not a school or an indoor swimming pool. It was made uh, by an architect with our inputs of what we want, so it's really good. It's the house is really nice, you know. How couldn't I didn't like to, to live here? Ironically, the crisis provided Ana Hernandez and her family with just the house they wanted, one with lots of room and light. At this point, they can hardly imagine living anywhere else.